Today we're making a dish from Burgundy. It's called oeuf en murette. Oeuf en murette. All right. I do not speak French, but I do know enough to know that oeuf means egg. You What's en murette? Uh, en murette is basically a red wine sauce made with the local Pinot Noir from Burgundy. So this is more of a kind of rustic country French dish? Yeah. I had this dish uh, in Burgundy with my wife on our honeymoon. I saw it on menus everywhere, so I ate it sometimes multiple times a day. <laughs> well, I've never heard of it, so I am excited uh, to give it a shot. Is this the, uh, the wine sauce right here? Yeah, this is the wine sauce. Uh, we have a reduction of Pinot Noir. I like to add a little bit of port to bring some sweetness to the party. Some French red wine vinegar some aromatics like shallots and garlic and uh, some thyme. So the first thing we're gonna do is we have our uh, warm wine bath. That's gonna be the poaching liquid for the egg. We're gonna drop our egg in there. There's enough acidity in the wine that kind of coagulates the white and gets the poaching process going. Say, I love eggs, I love wine, so <laughs> I guess the two of them together is gonna make good stuff. It's a very interesting combination, I would say. So the garnish, the traditional garnish for uh, Oeuf en Murette is the garniture bourguignon. It's bacon lardon, oh, nice. some pearl onions, and some button mushrooms. This is really a country cooking right here. Absolutely. It's going to render out the bacon, get it crisp before we add the rest of our ingredients. The egg is actually served on toast, so we're going to get that toasting in the oven salmon. Right. We're going to go ahead and finish our sauce. So we have our strainer, our chinois. So whatever's left behind, that's just the shallots and the other aromatics? Yeah, it, it's given all it has to the sauce. All the flavor is in the reduction. I'm going to keep this warm at the back of our stove. I'm going to get our mushrooms going with our bacon lard on. I'm going to go ahead and check on our egg. And poaching an egg, when done right, it's my favorite way to do it. So often, though, it's done wrong. There's no recipe, right? It's a yeah. technique. So yeah. it's something you got to poach a bunch of eggs until you get a perfect poached egg. Gonna go ahead and add a little bit of thyme. Check on our toast. Toast it up nice, keep that warm. Gonna go ahead and add a little bit of shallots. Put some sliced garlic in there. I'm gonna go ahead and season our, uh, our mushrooms. Salt, pepper. These are the petals, basically, of our pickled pearl onions. They bring a crunch and a little acidity to finish the dish. All right, we're gonna check on our poached egg. We give it a little, to make sure that the yolk is not overcooked God. and the white is set. Looks perfect. We got a little bit of uh, chiffonade of parsley to our mushrooms. Shut that off and we're gonna plate our dish. At the base, we're gonna do a little bit of our onion stew bees. Top that with our country toast. Get our uh, egg out of its wine bath. Wow, I've never seen an egg that color before. It kind of looks like a heart, almost. That goes right on top of our bread. Next, sauce the egg with our beautiful sauce murette. That just has the nicest velvety texture, I can already tell. Around our lardons, our mushroom, and our pickled pearl onion. Garnish with a little parsley. Here's our oeuf on your end. And that is beautiful. All right, chef. I've never seen a dish <laughs> this color before. Also, a lot of wine in the sauce. What kind of wine are we pairing with it? Yeah, I like to pair it with Beaujolais from Southern Burgundy. It's light and has good acidity. It cuts through the richness of the dish. Beaujolais it is. Cheers. Enjoy. All right, and of course, my favorite part of a poached egg, checking out that yolk. <laughs> oh, 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 look at that. Mm, you did it, chef. That is perfectly poached, that egg. And that sauce on top, a little hint of the vinegar, a little hint of the acid. And I got to try it with some toast and some of these other fixins as well. Definitely. Oh, and that crunch. Perfect counterpoint to the egg. What's your favorite part of this dish? I like a little bit of everything together, and then the sauce at the end, definitely get the spoon in there. All right, see if I can mix a few things together here. Just good country cooking.
Hey, Seth here. Have you tried this signature dish? Let us know in the comments. And if you want to discover more great restaurants in the DMV, don't forget to subscribe.